the 2024 World Championship will be decided today. Will it be Max Verstappen or will it be a new world champion in George Russell? Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name's Aaron and coming up today we've got the Brazilian Grand Prix, the season finale for season two in F1 Manager here on AHGP with Mercedes where George Russell leads the World Championship and we are also Constructors World Champions. We've dethroned Red Bull, they've had a couple of years atop the standings and we are back with the Silver Star atop the tree. George Russell, he's top of the table as well for Mercedes. Lewis Hamilton in the last round in Las Vegas, spoiler alert, he did his best to make sure George Russell got the results he needed to take the, some sort of advantage to Brazil today. We didn't get the win, Carlos Sainz actually did that. He, uh, like in 2023 in real life, has a win. Charles Leclerc does not, somehow. Um, but George Russell, 12 points in the lead as we head to Brazil. Let's have a look at the car analysis and, analysis and see where we stack up. So you need top speed in Brazil, of course, for the, the straight out of Juncal up to the, the, uh, the start finish line. Also low speed cornering. So I think we're going to be very strong in the middle sector. So uh, we could be pretty good around Sao Paulo today right i think that's enough preamble i'm gonna to head to practice i'll see you in q3 to set up the season finale for season two all right then 2d as always for the first run of q3 hamilton sets a 18-2 uh, but russell a tenth quicker in the first sector middle sector is coming up now 33-3 versus a 33-2 russell Making the, making the most of the slipstream, he goes three-tenths quicker than Lewis Hamilton. Max Verstappen yet to come out the garage. The 1.7.1 is the target for him and everybody else. All right, just over three and a half minutes remain in Q3. We were uh, locking out the front row until Charles Leclerc just done a lap good enough for second on the grid. Verstappen is only fourth. We're waiting for him to go out uh, he was on used tires by the way we're going to wait for him to go out and then we're going to follow him to try and ensure that we get a slipstream from him and basically he'll give us all that extra pace so uh, we're just going to wait for him to make the move it's a little game of chicken here at the moment all right there goes Verstappen I think we, we might be close enough actually for a a nice toe from the Dutchman. Right then, here we go. Final qualifying laps of the season. Keep an eye on the left-hand side for the sector times. Max Verstappen, only a personal best in the first sector. George Russell does not improve. Carlos Sainz has gone second fastest for Ferrari. But crucially, George Russell, championship leader, is still on for a pole position. I think this would actually be his first pole of the year. Verstappen, middle sector, coming up now. Fastest of anybody from the Dutchman. Hamilton not improving. George Russell is the fastest of anybody in the middle sector. There's traffic on the inside of the, the run up the hill. Here's Max Verstappen. Can he go to the top of the times? No. He goes Third, Hamilton fourth. George Russell starts the season finale from pole position. I think that's his first pole of the year. And what a time to get it. Absolutely brilliant from George. Uh, unless Alonso's got something up his sleeve, he hasn't. What about Logan Sargent? Is he... He's on an in-lap. It doesn't matter. Although Charles Leclerc uh, not improving. So he starts fifth. Hamilton... Fourth on the grid. Um, he's very much in play. Uh, he was actually very, very close to getting third. But George Russell, pole position. Excellent job from him. That 7.1 on the opening uh, set of laps was just too good. The toe that Lewis gave him was fantastic. He did his job 
perfectly. So uh, not only is he arguably the best number one driver in the world, he might just be the best number two driver in the world. Season finale is here. It's come down to this. George Russell is 12 points clear. If Max Verstappen wins the race in any form, with or without the fastest lap, George Russell needs to finish third. So if George Russell gets a podium, he is world champion, no matter what Max Verstappen does. So it'll be just about keeping him in the top three. And if, if Lewis can facilitate that, then that's perfect. I'll do my best to keep you up to speed with where drivers are in different points and how that's going to affect the points. The drivers are very confident. I'm a little bit nervous. Let me know in the comments how you feel this is going to pan out. Are we going to be successful and clinch both world championships in 2024? Or are we going to have to wait another year for a driver's world champion? Is it going to be Max again? Or are we going to have a new world champion in George Russell? Let's do a motor race and find out. All right, George Russell and Carlos Sainz on the front row of the grid. We have five red lights. The lights throughout the season finale is underway. It's a good start for George Russell. And Max Verstappen has leapt forward as well, looking to take second place from Carlos Sainz. I think he might be doing it. But, yeah, he's going to get around the outside of the Curva de Sol. What tyres is everybody on? The top three are all on mediums. Hamilton on softs. Leclerc is on hards. That's interesting. OK, so let's settle down into the race. Hamilton going around Carlos Sainz here. The Spaniard not having a good start. Hamilton up to third position. Perfectly done. And now he can be there to stop Verstappen, basically. If we can get him past. I have underfueled both cars, you'll, you'll notice. Um, Hamilton is more heavily underfueled as well. So I want him to be able to get away, maybe even get in the lead and just stop Verstappen winning the race. Because then that, that means there's not such a big gap between the points. And Russell could then just follow Verstappen home if he needs to. So, first lap done. Let's see what happens when DRS arrives. Right, Max Verstappen taking the lead, it would look like. At the start of lap three with DRS, Hamilton is in a close attention there. Russell resists and keeps the lead of the race. We Understood. And Hamilton is looking around the outside here. I was just monitoring the action. Hamilton looks like he's getting into second position and he's done exactly that. So now the don't fight teammate message comes and he is doing the job that he needs to do. He's going to now hopefully protect George Russell. And if we can just keep George Russell in the lead, he will be world champion. Need to keep Hamilton's tyres uh, under control. In fact, maybe what we could do is have Lewis lead, although, I don't know. It, it's such a delicate balance here because... We could go. We could go and take the win away from Verstappen. That could be an option with Lewis to just go and win the race. He might even pull George Russell along. And he's on the soft tyres, so he's going to be pitting earlier. So maybe we do that. Maybe we do that. So we get George to really defend here. We just allow Lewis to go past. Okay, so now we deliver the don't fight teammate message to George and ask him to just defend neutrally. So now hopefully Hamilton can pull George along. So let's get them to both deploy, see if we can escape Verstappen and leave him behind a little bit. All right, we've reached lap 16. We've pulled three and a half seconds of gap back to Verstappen who's got signs giving him some trouble from time to time but we've just needed to manage 
tyre temperatures. Lewis, uh, we probably can back off a little bit with you there. Russell is on target to hit his pit stop lap. I think Hamilton might have to box maybe a lap earlier. But Verstappen actually starting to pick up the pace. He's pressing on with things now. He's within three seconds of us. Signs dropping back. Uh, Lewis's pace will be starting to drop. So what I'm going to do is ask him to rarely defend. Uh, George Russell can now reassume the lead of this race as and when he wishes. Hamilton will be getting the... Uh, the benefit of an undercut and then some DRS soon as well. So George can just go through Stop here. That would be lovely. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. There we go. So now Lewis, don't fight teammate. Okay, in comes Lewis Hamilton. Let's see where he drops out from all of this. Hard tyres going on. Good stop, 2.9 seconds. That's something we will be working on next year, is making sure our pit stops are quicker, but also we don't have mistakes. Where's Lewis going to pop out just behind Sargent? So not, not too bad. He'll get some DRS here. We're going to start conserving the fuel. I think George will naturally conserve enough fuel. Lewis, we need you to drive in clean air and start going past people just like that. Beautifully done from Lewis Hamilton. I think now he'll find a way past the Alpine of Gasly. And there's the two positions that he needed. Now he's got a couple of seconds of clear air up to Norris. And then it's about catching Leclerc, who's just glued together with Alonso. And George Russell has done such a good job on his tyres. We are going to not only pit him five, four or five laps later than planned but we're also going to pit him with a four and a half second lead over Max Verstappen. Lewis Hamilton has passed the McLaren of Lando Norris, is saving fuel, is now deploying and we can just focus on closing that gap to Leclerc, really bringing the seven time champion into play. Max Verstappen takes the lead, the gap at the front was five seconds when George entered the pit lane. Now, will he be, be behind Lewis? That's the question. He will. So, Lewis, with the undercut, will be is ahead. But George comes out ahead of Lando Norris. So, what we'll do is at some point we'll reinvert the cars and just put George ahead if we need to. If we need to do it, then we will do it. Let's say we're running 1-2 and Lewis is in the lead then we might as well let him have that victory there's no point asking him to give up a win if he doesn't need to if he does need to give up a position then we'll do that we're going to be out of sync with everybody else we're going to have overtakes to make we're also going to have an advantage in terms of tires Verstappen into the pit lane hard tires on no pit stop dramas this time for the Dutchman where are we we are already almost down at turn four so that's a good four or five seconds uh, well even more than that nine seconds he comes out behind us so what's the gap between our two drivers it is a couple of seconds Hamilton now on the back of Charles Leclerc to take the lead of the race which is a massive statement because we will now be in front with one uh, pit stop to go. Hamilton fails the overtake on the first attempt, but this time down into turn four. Oh, they're off! I don't believe it! Hamilton has collided with Leclerc! Oh, Le well, Leclerc turned in. The Monogask. Oh, I don't believe this. Hamilton's back on the track. There is a virtual safety car. We'll need to pit. Have we got... We have no front wings to replace it with. Brilliant. <laughs> Lewis is going to have to drive the rest of this race with a broken car. <laughs> what it does do is give George Russell the lead. Ah, minor front wing damage. Just, uh, front wing end plate. 
seeing at the moment. Strollers just crashed at turn one. What is going on? He's collided with. No, he's just. He's just. He got scared of fighting the Red Bull. <laughs> so, uh, so we have a VSC. Leclerc yeah, still yet to stop. I don't know why Ferrari didn't take that opportunity to pit. It's a free pit stop. Just put him on a set of softs. He's got Verstappen right on his gearbox now. That was unnecessary from Ferrari. Uh, Hamilton, I think, is going to struggle here. Alonso's just swept by. All right, Hamilton and Leclerc are fighting again. <laughs> Leclerc has lost a load of pace because his tyres are dead. And he's got wing damage. We managed to somehow drop Alonso. I did just sort of cycle through it. Hamilton's picked up his pace. And is now hustling Perez for the final uh, final spot on the podium. Here he goes. Around the outside. Oh, that's fantastic, Lewis. But the Red Bull's probably going to get DRS and come back past. Uh, you looked very close to contact there, but it's fine. Lewis Hamilton up into third place. Wing damage and all. George Russell just minding his own business in the lead and on the way to the world championship oh we've got a yellow flag i was just just wanted to point out that even with the wing damage lewis hamilton is the fastest man on track right now he's done a t he's just done a 10.2 he was a second faster than verstappen we do have another stop to make so it's not all sunshine and roses at the moment Right, pit window entered for George Russell. He leads by nine and a half seconds. He's just picking his way through some traffic. We're going to ask him to use this extra fuel that we saved under the safety car. And uh, do I want him to attack? Try and build up a lead. And he's about 22 seconds, which would drop him up behind Alonso. Now, Science is also on medium, so I'm guessing he's going to go to a set of softs as well. Perhaps, but everyone... Here is on hard, so Alonso, Perez, Verstappen will all be basically candy from a baby once Russell catches them. We're losing time though because of the traffic. That is Sargent trying to get past. And uh, Sarg. Sorry, it's Albon. What are you doing, Albano? Why? Why? I'm talking to you, Albano. Why are you doing that? Slowing my driver down. In comes George Russell. Is this the last pit stop he does before he becomes a world champion? Three second pit stop. Lewis Hamilton in. They've had time to catch their breath. Reset. 2.7. That, that, that extra breath. Very useful. Russell. Oh, this could be crucial. He might be out ahead of Alonso. Please don't crash like you did last year. George Russell out in second place, which is enough for the World Championship. Hamilton is 11, 12, 11 and a half seconds behind Perez. Even though Alonso's bothering Russell, our first lap out of the pit lane was, uh, our first flying lap out of the pits was 1.2 seconds quicker than Verstappen. Hamilton also did a 9.8. Interestingly, Ocon has the fastest lap. Who'd have thought? Here's Hamilton passing Perez again. They're again very close through the centre S. Hamilton moving to block the Red Bull and successfully doing so. He now moves himself to fourth position and he's only seven and a half seconds behind his old mate Alonso, but he's two seconds a lap quicker. George Russell is a second and a half a lap faster than. Max Verstappen, who's just on, he's just on a 9.5. Verstappen has had to respond and up his pace. Well, we see your upping pace, Verstappen. We will raise you with some more pace. And uh, we'll get Lewis to do something similar soon with Alonso. I don't think we'll be able to get a 1-2. 
because Alonso is seven, eight seconds nearly behind Russell. But yeah, definitely a double podium to round off the season would be very, very nice. George is within DRS here, so we might just be taking the lead from Verstappen on this lap, although there is some traffic just ahead. That's a Williams. That's a wild Alex Albon again. He's just blocking Verstappen. <laughs> this is incredible. They're going to be three wide. No, they're not. Verstappen moves to defend. Covers the inside line. And protects his position. Alonso's pace has just collapsed. Um, Hamilton reeling him in at two seconds a lap still. But let's have a look at this fight at the front for the lead and essentially the world championship. Although, as it stands, it would remain with George Russell top of the table and becoming the new world champion. He's just going to drive past him here. Look, he might not even... It's so early in the straight. Look how much more speed he's got. Unbelievable. George Russell takes the lead of the Brazilian Grand Prix. The Russell Shuffle gets him into the lead. We've got a yellow flag. But it's gone. No safety cars here. And hopefully we will be able to drop Verstappen. And now our attention turns to getting Lewis Hamilton onto the podium. And he is quickly catching um, Fernando Alonso. He was still on driving clean air, as is George Russell. So we'll take those off. Hopefully Verstappen doesn't come back at us here with DRS. In fact, we will get DRS off the Williams. That was Sargent being a good little boy and giving us some DRS. Talking of DRS, Hamilton's almost going to get it from Alonso. Just not quite yet. And just look at the extra performance we've got on these tyres. Up the inside, well, just whichever side you want, Lewis. I mean, if he'd got past Leclerc successfully, I think Hamilton might have won this race. Although he's a little minor heart attack there. We're still side by side. We're still side by side. And we're still side by side. Into Albon corner and Alonso gets the job done. Hamilton, <laughs> they've been side by side the entire lap. Who got DRS? Alonso, of course he did. The jammy little dodger. Right. High overtake aggression, Lewis. Here we go. Job done. Lovely. Double podium. Incoming for Mercedes. Just conserve that little bit of fuel. We'll go aggressive on the tyres. Russell has finally pulled out a gap to Verstappen, whose tyres are giving up the ghost, as are Alonso's. So from here, it's stroke it home. It's stroke it home, George. Let's go to the final lap then, and then we'll we'll follow George Russell on a victory tour to the World Championship. Lap 70. And now, lap 71. We've got a yellow flag. Another car running wide. It was Sonoda, because of course it was. That's Bottas, who Russell's about to lap. Bottas, who couldn't get on terms with Lewis Hamilton and had to settle for being the number two driver. But George Russell has outperformed Lewis Hamilton this season. He's got the job done on so many occasions. This is going to be his eighth win of season two. Bear in mind he went winless in season one. Lewis Hamilton claiming our sole win in Mexico and George has done an outstanding job he's stayed out of trouble he's kept his nose clean Hamilton's been hurt by the fact that he crashed in practice and ruined engines but George Russell has been inch perfect this season 
He's going to win the Brazilian Grand Prix, but more importantly, he's taking 26 points, which means George Russell is the world champion. Brilliant performance. George Russell wins the world championship. Clap it up, everybody. Let's just see Lewis across the line as well. We just got there in time. It's a double podium for Mercedes. It's double delight on the championships in Brackley and at Bricksworth as well, who have given us a brilliant power unit. And it's powered George Russell all the way to the world championship the new world champion george russell the man from king's Lynn. martin brundle is doing cartwheels in the commentary box and the team are celebrating too george russell onto the podium the man he deposes max verstappen who doesn't look particularly happy about it but who cares? George Russell, you are the man. His first world championship. And he's beaten two of the best to do it. So there you have the result of the season finale. Not as dramatic as... I was concerned it might be, considering Brazil's propensity for throwing up wild races. But we've converted pole position into the victory with a beautiful two-stop strategy. Lewis Hamilton possibly could have won that race without the tangle with Charles Leclerc. Because it cost him a lot of time. He did get a free pit stop under the VSC, but he had to drive the rest of the race with a damaged car. And so to recover that to third place... That's really, really good from, from Lewis. Props to him. Constructors' Championship, we finished with a massive 804 points. 80 points clear of Red Bull. Who at one point, I think, were 100 points clear of us after the first few races. It was just ridiculous. We, haven't, we didn't have a podium in any of the first three races. I don't think we've been off the podium since. So, an unbelievable effort. 20 podiums for the team, 13 wins, 8 fastest laps, 6 pole positions. Red Bull, 9 wins, 21 podiums, 12 poles, 6 fastest laps. Red Bull obviously won 3 of the sprints. Uh, we won the last one in Vegas. But here's the important one. The Drivers' Championship, George Russell, Drivers' World Champion, by 20 points in the end from Max Verstappen. Lewis Hamilton finishes a... Comfortable third from Perez, but also fairly distant from Max Verstappen. It was, what, 38 points? Or was that 42? Maybe 42. So, um, yeah, he was fairly distant in the end. But we got the job done. We beat Red Bull in both the drivers and constructors, having at one point looked distinctly average. And we finished it on a winning note with George Russell. He's the man. George Russell is the world champion. What a season, season two has been. Lots of wind, lots of drama. And if you want to see more in season three, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on this video. Leave a comment as well. Tell me your favorite victory from this season and leave your love for the new world champion, George Russell. He'll be back in season three, as will I, looking to defend both world championships. But there's at least one driver who'll be looking to take it away from him. It's so the guy in the other car of Mercedes, Lewis Hamilton, will be still chasing that eighth title. Could be a civil war at Mercedes in season three. Make sure you join me to find out. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.